Hello everyone and welcome to another video and welcome to the super truck in the truck world which is this Ford Shelby F-150. Now this is a supercharged Ford F-150 which has been completely completely redone by Shelby and I'm going to be discussing everything in detail because I've gotten this car only for a few hours so I'm not going to be covering everything in detail but I'll try to cover as much as possible it is super hot currently like it's just 10 a.m and the sun is directly over my head but at least you see how much effort it takes so please make sure to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon i'm going to be doing a pov sort of video the point of view where i'm going to be covering the exterior and the interior but more importantly i want to share with you guys how exactly does this sound and drive because that is in Insane. let me start from the front so you can taste first of all very noticeable 5 755 shelby f-150 and then this black stripe which which and let me first tell you how the front is like it's so huge i mean look at the ground clearance and 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 this there is no skid plate because actually the bumper is so raised up that there is no need for the skid plates you get the led headlamps uh, cluster at the bottom you find the fog lamps and then this grill which is aluminium and then on top of that there's another grill so this is like a nostril so because this car is supercharged so it needs additional um, air to you know the beat the engine and then it produces that mega 70 BHP and then on the sides uh, there is this supercharger which has been inscribed looks so nice there's this Shelby also which has been inscribed so this let me tell you every wherever you look there they've gone a little overboard in terms of you know mentioning Shelby because you can see it's 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 present pretty much everywhere it's present out here it is present at the bottom it is present even on the wheel cap so Pretty much everywhere you see because uh, Shelby has played a big part in uh, developing this car which is why you see so many badgings pretty much every single place it just doesn't stop I'll show you in the interior also so this, these wheels are 18 inch uh, rims and then they are also this is custom designed by Shelby themselves you can see already you know, on the wheel cap and also on the rims and then you get the Fox suspension and look at the travel oh wow check that out it is it is insane you know this car is so capable off-road ready like you literally don't need to do any 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 other thing and these tires are all-terrain tires also they've been inscribed with the white uh, sort of you know letters on the on the tire itself and look how wide the whole car is like it's so long it is bloody long and then there is this uh, footboard which is not retractable then there is an additional footboard which you can press it with the legs uh, and open it so that you can hop, hop in the back again 18 inch rims and this this whole setup again fox setup uh, of suspension and then at the back you get again shall be badging so pretty much every single place there is this one place where the Ford logo comes but at the bottom again you would see Shelby badging now at the back you would see the the bed being covered by this cover so this is essentially just flat uh, sort of area with which you can use the the boot space but other than that that uh, at the bottom you would find these dual uh, exhaust tips and they sound incredible let just this hear the exhaust first and then we'll continue with the review well now that you've already heard the exhaust then let's continue here you would find the scruff plates and then the electrical points to connect the the trailer and also these uh, scruff plates are made out of plastic and then you would get this camera system you get the the boot light and also on the sides you would find the blind spot radar which has been given in this car lane departure warning all of that even the tail lights are led tail lights 
coming to the side mirrors now the side mirrors are power foldable they have blind spot warning system and also there is this neat sort of light again you can switch that on at night if you are ever in a dark area and also at the bottom there is another light you can switch on from inside so the shelby f150 also comes with the keyless entry system so you just need a key in your pocket press this button and then you can open these doors and also uh, you can set the pin in case you ever miss your key or you you forget your key somewhere or you lose it then you can type in the pin which you can set it from inside the infotainment system and then you can you know use your car without the keys and get inside oh another shelby and inside the interiors actually first thing let me switch on the car and make you hear oh let's hear that and this is my favorite activity while i am not moving <laughs> it is it is man every single time you hear that ah oh, that is just absolute brute brutalness you know that is absolutely crazy so this this big stirring wheel that you get and by the way there are these uh, carbon fiber trims which have been given every single place but these are actually the plastic bits which have been made to look like carbon fiber trims every single place that you see even out here there is also a plank which says again shelby f150 even on the seats you would see shelby f uh, the, the the shelby badging and ford badging in the steering wheel and on your uh, right side you would find the infotainment controls and the communication control and on the left side you would see the uh, cruise control and also these controls to uh, you know use this uh, center console multi information display which has been given it's a pretty straightforward multi information display using the just these buttons you can use so the steering wheel is electronically adjustable and there is like a button at the back of the steering wheel and with which you can just set the telescopic or the tilt effect and uh, coming to the general uh, cabin itself it's a pretty big cabin you know like like super huge and also even though it's a two door but it comes with the five seat option so but at the back I, i'm gonna come very soon as to how the space is the steering wheel is pretty big and chunky and it's also got the thumb support in fact it is too big for my hand actually so uh, there is this dial with which you can convert from two wheel drive to four wheel drive to four low then there is this also trailer backup so you can you know press this button and then you would see on the 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 screen that you know there is uh, an assist which comes up which so the car knows that you know you've attached a trailer and then it would keep informing you related to that as to how much the load and everything and all of that is so the infotainment screen is an 8.8 .8 inch infotainment touch screen so it's a pretty easy to use system again sorry and then there is climate control so you can control the climate using the buttons given at the bottom or at the top so you can if you connect your phone you can do that there is also inbuilt navigation system there is also mobile apps there is also various other settings there is also a local wi-fi hotspot that you can create there is bluetooth there is also apple carplay there is android auto then there are different vehicle and display settings that you can do and also the valet mode so you can uh, you know lock your car and all the other functions in the car except the the basic functioning of the car and you can put a pin so that whenever you give it in the valet and then when you take it back you can put that pin and then all your functions are again unlocked super cool so uh, continuing in terms of the space uh, you would find a bit of space at the bottom in the door and also on the side where you can put like a glass then there are two cup holders out here and another small storage uh, uh, to uh, like your phone storage to put your phones while charging and then there is this additional slot i don't know maybe you can put your phones like this or maybe your keys or something then there is this small sort of storage where this shelby f150 has been written i'm sorry my aircon is actually blowing full speed i just realized and it may be actually affecting the audio there's also on top of this there is another storage and these are the speakers that have been given uh, everywhere so this car comes with eight speaker i'm sorry this car comes with 10 speaker music system and also there is another glove box out here welcome to the 
post corona world where you would find masks everywhere in the car by the way this is my mask so yes i'm going to be taking it back so there is additional storage in the center console which is huge by the way it is super huge like and there is this also plate given which has the rubber uh, texture on it like a mat on it and then you can use that to put your phones maybe while they are charging and then there is a slot out here with which you can put your wire through so and then there is also the this is lockable the seats are uh, leather seats with this red stitching and uh, they are perforated and also there is this sort of design in the center with this the the sort of round rings and shall be logo and the ventilated seats are operated from here at the bottom so the air con control is uh, controlled using the screen also from here the climate and also using these uh, buttons out here but i prefer to use the buttons because you know while driving they are just straight forward now in terms of the charging or the connectivity you would uh, get two usb ports out here there is one uh, a power socket 120 watt power socket then there is another 12 volt and also a three pin plug which has been given so you know you can even use your laptop chargers or anything or even conventional mobile chargers that you can plug into and also the 12 volt 120 watt power socket there are also air vents in the back and also 120 watt power socket there is also additional slots out here on the sides again it's not much like you can just put your phones or something that's pretty much about it these also aluminum pedals with the rubber you know bits on top of it and these are electronically adjustable the button is out here so yeah you can see them come out and go in yes so uh, these seats are uh, 10 way electronically adjustable and also the passenger seat is the same and coming to the the gear lever now the gear knob is super huge like you know chunky look at my hand like it's barely able to grip it but it you can also switch to the sport mode from this gear lever and then there are these buttons if you put it into manual you can uh, sort of uh, press these buttons and you know shift the gears so uh, in terms of the visibility because there is a glass in the back so the visibility is pretty good like it's so wide in fact this this rear view mirror isn't enough to just cover the entire visibility so even if it's broader but i mean it would come in your vision so it's not possible so which is why this is in short the the visibility is pretty great so the the side mirrors and also the rear view mirror is uh, also auto dimming so while driving it's pretty easy so there is there are also these buttons out here which is your start stop button i know like start stop button has been given in a v8 supercharged ford shelby there's a traction control button there is also a, a hill hold assist button but apart from that yes that is pretty much this this entire cabin that you see the way to open these doors is using this this the sort of button which has been put uh, next to the door handle so you just pull it in your directions and the doors open but yeah in the back the the space in the back is pretty all right although there is no center uh, tunnel transmission tunnel which is going so it is pretty good because already the car is so raised in in height so there's no need for the transmission tunnel to go all the way from inside the cabin it's it's enough if the the people in the front don't push their seats in the back but otherwise for the middle passengers things may get a little uncomfortable because there's not much space in the, the to put your legs so yeah i mean just stick to two people or maybe you know kids and there are also child isofix mounting points but they are not marked but there are like those hooks which which you which are visible uh, from the seat and there is no uh, hand rest in the back that is just straight uh, three seats there is pretty much it in the rear which was needed to be discussed because there's not much like it's just seats so but what is more important to be discussed and the most fun thing is the engine and the drive of this car so let's go for a drive <laughs> oh my god oh 
oh, 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 this is wow, like, oh my god. So, this uh, four Shelby F150 comes with a V8 supercharged petrol engine that produces 733 horsepower. 730 and just hear the torque figures okay 840 newton meters of torque 840 which is why when you press the throttle oh, 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 oh it just lifts up this is this is like supercar performance but in a pickup truck a pickup truck which is so gigantic this big i mean ah and because this car has been fitted with a supercharger so the response is instant so usually when you get a turbo lag from the turbos but in the supercharger which is the reason why you get an instant burst of power and more importantly the torque i mean wow this this engine is oh and the 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 just hear the supercharger whining you know when i press the throttle Wow! <laughs> I mean, it's just that perfect whining noise from a super, from a super. I'm just out of words. I mean, I don't know what to say because ah, uh, this, this, it just takes you back, you know. But then, on on a lot of occasions, I find that you know, there's a lot of, you know, the sound and sensation and the the feel of it. But then, when you actually look at the the speed at which you're going. It's rather less so it's more about the sensation and which is what this car i mean this pickup is about so which is why i mentioned that you know this is like a super truck in the world of trucks so uh, oh oh my god let, let me just calm down for a bit because i am just finding ways to keep doing that uh, so this this pickup comes with a 10 speed super select gearbox so the term super select means that on the gear lever there is a plus and a minus button that has been given so, so you can uh, even select up to three gears you can up, select up to six gears so the car will only shift to those gears on some occasions it would just keep finding gears when you are trying to you know accelerate or when you when you are trying to go at a, a no, uh, at a constant speed still it would keep trying to you know change gears and trying to figure out its own math of finding the right gear but otherwise it's pretty all right in terms of the handling handling is because this car has uh, all terrain tires so the handling is somewhere between you know being a little soft but there is literally bare minimum roll because of these uh, the fox uh, shock cups that has been fitted on this one and the handling is pretty accurate i would say because anyways these pickups are not meant to be you know pointy or you know to be like 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 a supercar although we are comparing it with a supercar but they are not meant to be like you know that uh, sharp in terms of their response but otherwise it's a fairly nice steering system you know because bear in mind this uh, this car is uh, is super powerful and to to be able to handle so much of power and you know also have the road dynamics and also we've also taken these cars on to off-roading you know on some trails and and they are performing very well which you will also see the videos the link to which i would be putting in the description so if you want to watch the f150 xlt review you can click on the pop-up banner out here and you can watch that also but continuing with this one this car is so powerful you need the brakes which are like gripping enough and this will rip your face apart like when you try to break hard so which is what is very comforting also so that is the reason why you would want to push this car a little more than the usual cars that you have and a little out of its comfort zone also but it's very difficult to push this car out of its comfort zone but if you take it in the the desert then i mean this will be the perfect there's going to be a lot of smoke clouds for sure but uh, there is there's no point in you know reviewing this car in a traditional way because you need to feel these sort of pickups but again i i, I don't know on a longer journeys this uh, whole supercharger whining you know noise 
is pleasing all the time because let's be honest if you are on a longer journey you want something which is quiet although the car is super quiet the build quality is pretty good like the nvh levels are down it's only the supercharger and the only noise that you want to penetrate into your cabin uh, in terms of the safety systems you have uh, six airbags you have the isofix points there is also the traction control there is also hill hold assist a single camera reverse system the visuals of which are displayed on the center infotainment screen there is also tire pressure monitoring system so all in all i mean this is one of the most juiciest pickup that you would see it's so easy to just you know make it mad look at this <laughs> i've been doing this because i've gotten this car for a few hours this was the best possible but i still wanted you guys to see the 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 performance of this car you know because that's more important and that's what i feel this car is more about like if you are someone who needs the raw power and feel and also the the usability of a pickup then this is the car like like the pickup this is the ultimate pickup although price isn't the ultimate one but anyways who cares like if you are in for some fun this is the one Anyways that is pretty much it for this video give it a thumbs up if you've liked it and if you want to subscribe to my channel then click here and if you want to watch more videos then click here i shall see you in the next video bye bye and take care